Look at me getting all cocky with my bike. Just because I've had one day training, I think oh, I'm evil can evil. Oh, it's quite hot today, middle of June. So, what are we doing? I'm not quite sure. Um, we're having a little bit of practice fun on my bike. Uh, I know it's a completely wrong kind of tires to be doing this, but um, it's, um, it's quite dry. So I think that's okay. Um, this is gonna be the last episode in this series. Yeah! I know. What am I going to show you today? Um, as, uh, but there will be a season two, and that's when I go to Mongolia. Um, obviously not on this bike. I'm going to fly out to Mongolia in a few days and um, hire a bike and just go off for two weeks. So I've got a lot of camping gear that I need to sort out. Um, and I've, spent, spent the last, I've spent the last month sorting all my camping gear out, and I don't really know what to take. So I'm going to give you a quick look at what I've got. Um, I don't know if it's all going to be uh, the right kind of kit. I've done the best I can and the idea is at the end of Mongolia I will come back and I'll do another video with an update and have a look at what I did take and what I didn't take. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go home now, go in my garden, grab a cup of tea and show you what I got. Great, okay, let's do it. All right, well, here we are in the dining room. I was going to do this in the garden, but it's so sunny and windy out there that I can't actually do it because, um, well, everything's blowing all over the place. So let's do it on the dining room table. So let me show you first. I've got it all in two bags and uh, <laughs> they're a bit heavy. Okay, here we are. Right. First off, we have this one. This weighs, oh my God, oh, 23 kilos, that one. Um, I've got to strip it out a bit. It's almost too heavy. And then I've got the second bag down here. Oh, so there we go. So two bags, too heavy. Got to strip some stuff out. Let's see what I got. Let's get them unpacked. That's bag number one. Let's have a closer look. Right, let's start off with the hardware. The first thing we've got is obviously the drone in its own case. Inside there, I've also got a phone case, which would be great for a quad lock. I'll come to that later. Pen, other bits and pieces in there. Uh, well, in here, there's gonna be two cameras. I'm also gonna carry one camera with me. I've got my iPad hard case, because that's gonna be for my navigation. Um, obviously, got heavy GoPro stick there. This is a great big battery cell thing uh, for power, and hopefully I'll plug that into the bike as well. We've got a map. We've got a book on Mongolia, so you know what's going on. Now, this is my thermal jacket. Now, the reason why I've got a thermal jacket, because at night time, it's gonna get down to about zero, possibly minus one, and the temperature will drop off quite quickly, so I've gotta have some warm clothes. Over here, we've got some thermal underwear. Um, I also have, at the moment, just three pairs of socks, plus the pair I'm gonna be taking with me. One spare pair of trousers, plus the pair I'm gonna be wearing out there. One, two pair, two T-shirts, one mid-layer thermal kind of thing, uh, woolly hat underwear this is a pair of um padded pants if you like you know for motorbike that sort of thing they're pretty cool oh and i've got one waterproof pair of socks as well if i have to go into rivers or my boots get wet i don't want to end up wet feet all day so i can always put those on make sure my feet stay dry so that stuff goes in to the blue bag and also in here in the top here hold on let me get it all out for you oh 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 I've everything that's got my mask, got cables, got a head salt. I also have some tablets on the go. Uh, I have this as well. Let's have a look, look, look. Ta da That is my Garmin InReach Mini 2, which will connect to my iPad and my phone and will hopefully tell me where I'm going, when I'm going, and how I'm going. So that's blue bag and it's within regulations to get into the airport. Um, it is still packed a bit tight and I've got a few more little bits of space in there to put some uh, nice little uh, snack bars and stuff in which I'm going to take. However, the big bag is going to be a bit of an issue. Let's move on to that one. I'm just going to chuck it all back in the bag. I'm probably going to undo it and put it back in quite a few times. So let's just uh, get it back in. I told you it was heavy. 
right, it's all safe again, we're all good again. Okay, where to begin? Well, let's start on the right-hand side. Well, some of these bits I'm probably not gonna take, but uh, I really need to think about this. I have bought a pair of really cheap uh, gloves. They're sort of working on the bike gloves, uh, that kind of thing, they're only a few quid. Um, plastic pot, coffee, sugar, definitely important to me. This is also very important. I think we all know what that is, don't we? That's right, it's when I go to the toilet in the morning. I need a little shovel to do my business. And I have a punch and repair kit in here, and here I do have let um, me see if I can get it open. Oh, a mixture of stuff. So in here I've got cables. You see two lots of different cables there. I've also got, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, uh, a 12 volt uh, a USB connector stuff. I've got all the cable stuff for that. And like a double one as well, because I need to be charging as I go along. So that's all in there. It's all kit, I'll come back to that in just a sec. No, I'll do it now, let's just do it now. Let's get it out of the way. I have no idea about the right kind of tools. Oh, look. Okay, a couple of ratchets in there as well, small ratchets, um, a variety of bits in there and all of those bits in there. I'm hoping I'm going to get a little toolkit given to me as well. Oh, we'll wait and see. Moving along, here we have uh, two micro towers, one for your face, one for my body. I'm not very big, so they're very small, which is great. Up here, oh, this is a whole, oh god, this bag, oh, like it. I've got to watch where the camera goes. This one here, all my connectors for all my bike attachments in there. I've got um, sort of GoPro mounts and stuff, things that are attached to the bike are going in there. So if you know what these are, these are the bottles that you put the fuel in. And this will be for my burner, which is here. You know the thing, oh dear, I really should have not done this holding the camera, this is so awkward. Anyway, oh, shall I get that out? I'll get that out, I'll put this camera down for a sec, there we go. I'll do that. There we go. Oh, what matches in there. And this is, I've tried it once already, so it does work, that opens up, like so. There we go. Um, I've got only one pan I'm taking with me. In here I've got a, you know, a Swiss Army knife and a few bits and pieces. And that's all I'm taking there. Um, I also have a pop-up plastic thing. This is for, um, well, washing up my breakfast bowl as well, overnight oats, that kind of thing. And I have this as well, and I can't make my mind up I'm gonna take this one or not, but this is um, not only is it a coffee cup, so this all undoes somehow. Ugh. So there's your coffee cup. But if you do all of this, put all this in, it becomes like a coffee percolator. So you need to buy some ground coffee when I'm out there. So that's that. Over here, what have we got here? I ah, obviously got the first aid kit. This is a water bladder, it says four liters. Don't believe it, it's more like three and a quarter. Um, but that's, I'll have that plus my big water bottle, which is another liter, so I'll be able to carry four liters at any given time. Over here, oh, this is like a SteriPen thing. One second. So that there, you put it into your water bottle and it will disinfect your water. That's the idea of that. Uh, yeah, who's that made by? Yeah, SteriPen. Yeah, I used that when I went to Everest. It was really handy. That's pretty cool. Um, as you see over here, I've got a bit of protection. Now, the trousers I'm wearing are not going to be proper bike trousers. I've got some really good um, sort of climbing trousers, hiking trousers, but I'm going to put these underneath or over the top, um, depending on how they feel. I am using They're bigger than I thought they were going to be, but hey-ho, we are where we are. Um, I have here, what's a luxury item? This here is my inflatable uh, mattress uh, made by Expect, and that's one of those. There you go. Anyway, that was about 130 quid, I think. It wasn't cheap. I'm not taking a tent with me, and I'm not taking a sleeping bag, because as you probably already gathered, I haven't got the space for it. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm taking. And I've got a sleep. Where's my sleeping bag line? I've got a sleeping bag line somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. Um, so that's, you know, that's a good thing to have, I guess. Right, we have a whole bag of nonsense here. Let's strip some of this out. Ah, this is cool. So this is um, a solar powered little lantern that you blow up and this thing here uh, gives me a bit of light at night apart from my head torch. Cool. 
a few tie downs there as well because I don't know what I'm going to get on there. Uh, trauma badge. Uh, that's where well, you know what that is. Um, yeah, lots of straps basically. Moving over here, more straps. These are my panniers made by Lomo. Quite cheap, and I really like these. I'm really quite impressed with these. Um, you know, I've got to have something to carry the gear, and that's what that is. Wash bag. Yep, I know I've got a beautiful face, but somehow I've got to maintain it. There we go. Um, and high vis jacket. Why have I got that? Because the Mongolian drivers, uh, they're not renowned for being um, the safest. And some of the roads I'll be on will be tarmac. So I will be wearing that when I'm on the tarmac and around other traffic. Now, what have I not got here so far? Oh, I've got my uh, helmet, haven't got that, and all my snacks. So um, yeah, I'm gonna remove all that and get those bits out. Now I've actually also bought myself a new helmet. Uh, that makes number four on the list now. Uh, so this is Noland, uh, that one there, N72X. Um, I think it's quite new on the market. Uh, this is obviously a bit <laughs> goes on top because um, it's got the detachable part of the front here. This piece here will come away, so I've got an open face helmet, and I've got my own um, GoPro mount on the front there, which I got from America, and I've got my uh, mic inside as well. So um, I've also got with this, I went and bought myself some goggles because um, I get a bit of wind on the face as well, and I do have a second pair of gloves as well. These are more summer ones, and I just don't know how the weather's gonna pan out, so that's what we're doing there. I mentioned earlier about a sleeping bag line. I've got two, this really nice lightweight one, or a really nice heavy duty, more wintry one, which is more cozy. Can't make me mind up which way to go on it yet. All right, so food-wise, coming over here. You think that's food? I've got food, 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 food. Why have I got so much food, you're asking? Well, I've got loads in the end. This is all full of food as well. It's all dry food I've got here, um, mostly because, well, I don't eat um, meat or dairy, and so uh, I know what Mongolia is like. Oh, I've got treats here as well for kids. I come across kids over there, which happened last time. Then. So, you know, I don't want to get ill, so who knows? I just thought, let's take everything, and I've got loads and loads of um, snacks as well. So I'm probably going to have to really think about all of this as well, because it's getting quite heavy, this bag. <laughs> that's about it at the minute i've got way too much kit uh but also not enough kit that makes sense so i'm going to go through this in the next 48 hours strip out what i think i don't need and i haven't got even got oh that's what i was going to say because when i get over there i'm going to um go shopping and probably buy some of this kit there as well waterproofs socks t-shirts that kind of thing just to try and keep the weight down um Right, well that's it. I guess I'm going to sign off on this series. Uh, I've got another 48 hours to go and I'm going to be flying out, but I won't be on the bike for about a week. In about a week from now, I'm going to be on the bike. Yeah, about a week from now. And, um, oh God, yeah, I'm a bit anxious about the whole thing, but hopefully it'll go well. And uh, that's it, really. Not much else to say. But thanks for watching so far. And if you enjoyed it, please do look at the next, uh, the next season. And hopefully I'll uh, be a better bike rider by the end of all that. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.